Hello, everyone. It is Monday. Good to be with you. And uh, this is the week of Thanksgiving. Of course, Thanksgiving on, is on Thursday. But um, and I want to remind everybody that that uh, you know is here that we will be having moving our service from Wednesday to Tuesday, and of course, same time. And we're going to have um, uh, pies uh, after the uh, after the service and. Going to be a time of testimony and praise and and all of that. So praise the Lord. I hope you can make it. Uh, that's this coming Tuesday, not Wednesday, but Tuesday, uh, seven o'clock here at the church. Okay. All right. Well, we had a great time with Brother Barnes yesterday morning. It's always good to see him, and his back is doing better. And praise the Lord. Pray for him. Pray for his family, as God uses him there in the state house. Okay. All right. Well. You know, being that it is Thanksgiving week and and today's Monday, want to want to just uh, look at a few things concerning Thanksgiving as far as uh, you and I giving thanks. And you know, truly, we are recipients of such many blessings, uh, and as a result of that, we ought to you know be thankful for God to God for all those things, but. But listen to what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number, I'm going to start with verse 15. Wherefore I also, the Apostle Paul is writing to the Ephesians, says, Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, verse 16, cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers. So the Apostle Paul, he says, you know, after I heard about what God's doing in your life, how that you got saved and, and all that God is doing, he says, I cease not to give thanks to you. And the Bible, and the Bible says, and I want to reiterate, not so much to you, but for you. So one of the things that that the Apostle Paul was thankful for was the Ephesians, these Christians that, that, that allowed God to work in their lives, and it was a, obviously a good work. And uh, he, he noticed this, he, he was aware of this, and so when he goes to the Lord in prayer, you know what he does? He thanks God for the Ephesians. He thanks God for the Ephesians and how, how obviously God had worked in their lives and, and by the grace of God, they yielded to the Lord. You know, it's good to thank God for, you know, people around us. Thank God for what God is doing in their lives. Obviously, we're not thankful for, for people when they do bad stuff. Obviously not. But boy, when, when people do good when they when they allow God to work in their lives and and they they do things you know because it's the right thing to do and they do things because of the Christian principles and all that you know what we ought to thank God for those people we ought to thank God for people that are in our lives that that you know are truly a blessing and that they are an encouragement uh, to maybe to our faith and, and and maybe they're a blessing to us. Maybe they help us in some way. You know what we, we ought to do? We ought to stop for a moment in our busy schedule and thank God for those people. So who is it? Who is it in your life that you could thank God for? It might be your, your, your wife. It may be your husband. It may be your children. You know, and and they and and maybe you could stop and thank God for them and what a blessing they are. You know, uh, Paul said it like this: Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints. So, so this is what he heard in their lives. This is what he noticed. He noticed God not only working in their life, but their faith growing and things like that. Um, their love. Uh, towards the brethren, all of that. And so God says, or Paul says, you know, I had to thank God for you. Today, I want to encourage you when you are uh, in the Lord in prayer, if, when you are praying to the Lord, who would it be 
that you would thank God for? Who would it be? I want to challenge you and I want to encourage you to be mindful of those people and, and the blessings they are. And you know what? It might be good if you maybe go to them personally and just say, you know, I want to, th I want to tell you I appreciate you and I thank God for you. Let them know that because it would truly encourage them. May the Lord bless you today as you pray to him and may your heart be thankful to God, maybe for people that are in your life. Let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for the people that, that, that we know that, Lord, you're doing a great work in their life. They're allowing you to, to teach them and to grow them. Lord, what a blessing that is. And Lord, may many of us be thankful to you for them. Lord, bless, I pray, and thank you again for the people you've put in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you today. Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.